Hello and welcome to the second video of the Baselight workflow series. Today we're going to talk about creating a custom format within Baselight. So this is used when you have source media with an input format that doesn't natively fit inside your intended output resolution. So what does that mean? So if I have a look at my clip here, you can see that Baselight has given me two input formats that match the metadata of this clip. So if I go ahead and hit the 2048 by 1536 input format, you can see that it's looking very squished and compressed and not quite right. And if I hit the two to one pixel aspect ratio variation of this input format, this is an anamorphic shot. So um, this input format recognizes that the pixel aspect ratio is not square and will need to be de-squeezed in order to view this image correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on this input format. So that looks good, but I've got a conundrum. The client has asked me to deliver this film with a 239 to one mask. So if I go down to my cursor view and apply a 239 to one guide, you can see that this camera format is slightly wider than my intended output frame. What do I do? So there's a couple of options. I could go ahead and hit Shift T, which adds a transform strip. As you can see, that changes my parameters view up on the top left, and I can go ahead and I could scale this clip in like that, you know, get that perfect, and I could adjust the exposition, I could do all that. And that's, that's okay. Um, that's not ideal though. If I go ahead and Command Z, those changes. So what I want to do is I want to uh, change this input format to automatically scale the height of this image to fit within my 239 to one frame. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and convert this basic format. So a basic format is any format with these little brackets around it. These are factory formats from Baseline. And I'm gonna go ahead and convert this and make my own custom format. So I'm gonna append this resolution with the project name um, because this is an example, I'll just type in project name here, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. So now you can see in the geometry sub panel that my input format has changed, but there's no visual difference in my image. And that's because we need to edit this format um, for any changes to take effect. So if you go up to the Baselight tab in the formats dropdown, and you can see that we have the 1920 by 1080 working format that we're currently in, along with our new custom format that we've just created. So you can see that we have mask options, mapping options, and burn-in options. I'll cover some of these options in future tutorials. Um, we're gonna go ahead and create a new mapping. When we do a custom format, we always need to map our custom format into the working format. So in this case, I'm working in HD, 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this, and we're gonna map this format to interface with this format. You can see here, this is the source clip that we have. So this is the pixel dimensions of this clip. And down here, you can see how we're going to treat this source in this destination. So this is our 1920 by 1080 frame. And what we wanna do is we want to constrain our image to a 239 to one area. And you can see that this uh, blue frame here is our 239 to one image frame. So as you can see, this red box here is our source media. And you can see that the width of this shot is currently fitting within our image frame, but that's leaving a bit of space on the top and bottom that we want to fill, okay? So to fix this issue, we're gonna have to lose a little bit of picture on the left and the right-hand side of this image because we're gonna have to scale this up to eliminate this letterboxing. So if we hit this drop down here, you can see we have inside and outside. So inside is fitting the width of this clip into this 239 frame. And if we hit outside, you can see now it's fitting the height into the 239 to one frame. And as I said, we're losing a little bit of image on the left and the right hand side. That's okay. The client has framed this film for a 239 to one delivery. We just need to make sure that this is replicated in Baselight. So we have the correct framing. So just quickly swapping between the inside and the outside, you can see the inside is mapping the width of the source into the destination and the outside is mapping the height. Now you can see with our custom format in place, the clip is fitting nice and snug and mathematically correct within our 239 to one frame. That's it. So when you create a custom format, you have to um, convert the basic format 
go into the formats menu and you've got to map your custom format into your working format from there you can choose your options um, to how you want your source to fit within your destination hope that was helpful and if you have any questions uh, flip me a comment down below and i will catch you in the next video cheers